Our first guest continues to inspire the world. She is the former First Lady of the United States. Please welcome my friend, Michelle Obama. Hey, you over there? Hello, <laughs> you over there. I miss you. I miss you too, long time no see. Yes. This is odd. We have spoken, <laughs> we have not seen. We have spoken. That's but, right. But the last time uh, we were uh, together in person, we were at uh, my house doing a duet together on the piano. Remember that? <laughs> I remember you be being a slightly overserved. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well, you were the one serving, so I blame you. <laughs> How's everybody doing? I know that uh, you were planning on uh, having some alone time, and then uh, I, how'd that work out? They're back. They're back. The kids are back. But everybody is is doing well in this in these times. If you have your health, you know it's hard to complain. Uh, and we've had a lot of family time. They're back. They're yep. back. They're in my closet. They're moving our stuff around. We can't find anything because they borrow it. You know, I, I, they have the notion, our children, that if we put something down and we don't use it for a couple of days, that they think we don't want it, so they take it. They think it's ours. And it's like, no, I was gone for a day. That doesn't mean you can have my water bottle. So we, you know, we just can't keep track of our stuff with them around. They don't and they're messy. They, well, they're messy. They, well, who, <laughs> who raised them? Well, I think they were watching a little too much Ellen. Maybe. Ah. Maybe let the TV watch them. No, I'm just kidding. You make a fine point. Um, <laughs> they're, so they don't have their own water bottle. They're stealing your water bottle. That's what I... No, they have their own water bottles, but if they lose them, which they do, they'll take mine. So it's not that they don't have them. It's like when they lose theirs and can't find their stuff, they take yeah. our stuff. Well, hopefully... Hopefully things will get back to normal. They can go back to college because they're learning virtually now. Are you making them feel yeah. like at least they're in college? Are you having keg parties? Are you doing beer pongs? <laughs> That's an idea that we haven't done. I'm sure they'd appreciate it, but no, no, we, no. we kept the kegs out of the backyard. <laughs> okay. I, you know, I, I don't, I didn't even know what a keg was until I was in college. I'd never knew that kegs were things. It's like, who can drink all that beer? I mean, I have like a couple of, oh, it's you. No, no, <laughs> Andy, is, Andy is making noise back there. I, I didn't know what a, I went to, uh, I, I went to college for, a, I think, a quarter of a first semester, so I never saw a keg. <laughs> in, your, in your life? No, I didn't see a keg. I, I mean, I've seen them at bars and stuff, but I, I, I know how to be, play beer pong now. Do you know how to play beer pong? I do, I do. I have played beer pong. Are you good? Uh, not really. No, <laughs> no. But you're good at everything. No. I would assume you're good. <laughs> I, I don't play it enough, sadly. No. We, well, we need to incorporate well, that in, incorporate that into our our activity schedule. Yeah, for we sure. Need to walk out in the backyard playing beer pong. That's what I want to see. I want to see video of you and Barack playing beer pong in the backyard. <laughs> uh, so, so speaking of Barack, the president is turning 60 this year. How's he doing with that? You know, he's, <laughs> he's doing okay. I mean, we, we try to keep it. He's feeling good about himself, you know? I mean, yeah, he looks good. The girls and I are giving him a lot of positive reinforcement. You know, he puts on his little golf outfits, and we're like, oh, he looks so cute. Because we're trying to encourage him to do more than wear black and gray and tan, so... Whenever he's got a colored shirt on, if it's green, we're like, oh, ooh, you look so good. And it's sort of like, yeah. So he's, I think, <laughs> it's like, dude, give me a color. Give yeah. Me purple. Give me something. He's, uh, he but, is in good shape, though. I mean, he works out he a is. lot. And I know that you two go on bike rides, and I'm surprised to hear that you go too fast for him because he really is in good shape. <laughs> Well, it's not the, the, the speed, it's the length. You know, he does one of those things where he's like, let's go on a bike ride. And I was like, where do you want to go? And he's like, it's your choice. But this was one bike ride he was complaining about. So he literally said it was my choice. I said, are you sure? Are you just going to, I'll just follow you. 
So an hour into the ride, you know, he's like, oh, when are we gonna go home? I'm hungry. And I, I, I was like, I, if you wanted a short bike ride, you should have told me. And he's like, but I'm hungry. It's time for, oh, I didn't bring enough water. So, you know. <laughs> Wow. I, I don't know what to tell you. He, you. He's perfectly fine. He was in perfectly good shape, but was just longer than he thought. And now he's telling the world that somehow I'm competitive at bike riding. <laughs> <laughs> well, you probably are, but I, I've I'm never, a... I've never heard him talk like that. That's not a good impression of. Uh... You know, <laughs> that's how I hear him in my head. Okay. And that's how he sounds. Too. I see. I see. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you recently did an interview with uh, Twitch's wife, Allison, and uh, their daughter, yes. Wesley. Um, Twitch, that must have been a fun day for you. Man, we, the, the Mrs. Michelle Obama glow is still radiating from my house. <laughs> like, it's, it, and uh, y'all, you left just such a great impression. That was an awesome day. Thank you for that. I mean, oh, really my was. God. They were, they were amazing. You're just too really amazing women. It was so much fun. Thank you, 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 you must be proud, Twitch. Uh, so proud, absolutely. And, and, and also, yeah. Allison forgot to ask, but we, j we are just kind of formally inviting you over for dinner. Just throwing it out there, just saying. Okay. Take, take it or leave it, take All it or right. leave it. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you've been reaching out to young people. Uh, you've adapted your book, Becoming for Young Readers, which is sort of what that part was. And it's already uh, another bestseller. You continue. <laughs> Everything you put out. Well, it's it's the same book. I know. So I can't take too much credit. But for but it. people would like. I already have the book. I don't need to buy it again. But it is adapted for a younger audience. Yes. So it's now another bestseller. I think you're putting well, these books out just to put it in your husband's face that you're selling a lot more copies than him. <laughs> No, no, I would never do that. <laughs> no, it, it's it's so important for me that uh, this book, this version of the book is more accessible. It's not that the story is different, but you know, the type is easier to read. Some of the words that were a little more flourished, we've kind of made the, the some of the paragraphs easier to read so that kids can you know, get the same benefit, but feel like they can get into a big book. So I'm excited to have conversations uh, like I've been having with young people and just get their impressions on how the story impacts their lives, how they're thinking about their voice, how they're thinking, how they think about shaping their own journeys. It's, you know, it's, it's the best part about this is that I get to hear more from young people. So I'm excited about it and I'm glad so many uh, young readers and schools and parents feel that the book is something they want their kids to, it's to read. It's great. So. It, it's, it's a great idea and it's doing well. Very smart.